a new trial for the man convicted of killing UT student Haruka Weiser. The judge decided to let the jury's verdict, guilty verdict, stand, denying 20-year-old Mikhail Kreiner's motion for a new trial. KXA's Alyssa Gord has been following this entire case for us, and what was it exactly the judge denied today? Well, Sydney and Robert, the defense brought up activity logs from Mikhail Kreiner's computer. Those activity logs were not brought up during trial. They tried to argue these logs show Kreiner was using his computer at the time when prosecutors say he was seen on UT surveillance video the night of Haruka Weiser's murder. The judge said this data was interesting and counted as new evidence, but ultimately he didn't believe it would have changed the jury's verdict, especially considering all the other circumstance, uh, circumstantial evidence the jury got to see like a hammer found near Weiser's body that looked just like a hammer found in the storage room Kreiner was squatting in, or the orange bandana found in the trash can near another building Kreiner stayed in, which matched the bandana Kreiner wore in a photo. After carefully considering all of this, it's my opinion that um, the evidence relating to the data on this computer is basically nothing more than a rabbit trail. And the defense didn't have much to say to us afterwards other than they're surprised. Alyssa, you have been covering this entire case. Anything stand out today? Anything surprising? Well, Kreiner was as he was in his testimony. He was cheerful and childlike. Take a look. Thanks, everybody. He waved to everyone in the courtroom as he left. Kreiner was not eligible for the death penalty in Texas because he was 17 at the time of the murder. He is sentenced to a life in prison with the possibility of parole after 40 years. Sydney and Robert. Senator